I want to take you back to the year 2017. It was the year of fidget spinners, Salt Bay, and uh, probably some other stuff. But more importantly, some dudes at Google dropped this new site called Polly. This was a site where you could search through thousands of user-made models for anything you could really imagine and use them however you wanted in your projects. But this was no ordinary model hosting site. Polly had this secret weapon called Blocks. Blocks is a super simple 3D modeling app for VR. Anyone can pick up and use in about five minutes and start making cool shit. Now, normally 3D modeling is a pretty technical skill and it takes many moons to learn out what all these fucking buttons do. But the beauty of Blocks is that VR made it a million times more intuitive. Because instead of having to remember 50 million different keyboard shortcuts to do anything, you can actually just reach out and do stuff. This meant that really anyone with a headset and some free time on their hands could make half decent looking models. Obviously Blender isn't going anywhere anytime soon and a lot of block stuff was pretty fucking terrible. But point is there was a lot of great stuff as well. But the best part of this whole dealio is that almost all of the models uploaded were licensed under Creative Commons. Meaning anyone could download these models for free and use them in their shitty indie games as long as they provided credit. Which as a creator of shitty indie games in my second year of university this website was like a gift from God. Since I could code pretty well, but my art skills were uh, lacking. So instead of struggling around in Maya for ages, I could actually just punch in a model into Poly, chop it into Unity, and be set. Like here's a game for Uni I made where you play as a human toast man, running around an apartment, pissing everywhere. All made with models from Poly. Somehow I got an A plus on that, so. Thanks, Polly. Longtime fans of the channel will also know it's the site where I got my infamous duck and gun models for my magnum opus, Duck with a Gun. Notice how I've been speaking in past tense? You can kind of see where this is going. Sadly, in classic Google fashion, in the year of our Lord 2020, the big G announced they were killing Polly with the site to go offline forever in June of 2021. Wait, actually, before we move on, can I just get a F in the chat for another quality Google service killed in the line of duty? Oh well, that sucks. Guess there's nothing I can do about it since I'm just some dude and Google is a billion dollar company. Thanks for watching. <laughs> so I guess you spent five months remaking it from scratch. <laughs> yeah, so when I saw that email, I was like, where the fuck am I getting my 3D models from now? All the other free model sites are garbage. Like, look what happens when I type in low poly into these sites. $2,000 for a fetus model? What the fuck? But then I thought, wait a second, I can make spicy code. Why don't I just make my own with blackjack and hookers? Problem was, I'm a game developer, not a web developer. I only know how to make duck go quack and gun go shoot, not actually make things that are useful to society. I had a little web experience from uni, but no idea how to do a backend or use a database. So I went down to my local library and picked up a nice book on the subject. Haha, <laughs> nah, just kidding. And that's pretty much all I did for like a week straight was just Google stuff, find good tutorials and try and get me up to speed because I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. Anyway, I bounced around different tech stacks for a bit, but ended up settling on Node.js for the server, which is kind of new for me because JavaScript is kind of fucking whack. Anyway, I found this great tutorial on MDN on setting up a server backend and setting up a database and all that good stuff. After spending a few days on that and watching a ton of Ben Award videos, I thought, yes. I am now a fully qualified full stack developer. I also decided to call it Poly Pizza. I thought long and hard about the name since it had to fit a few key criteria. One, the domain had to be available. Two, had to alliterate. And three, had to be the first thing that popped into my head. It was just literally the first thing that popped into my head. Pizza time. Welcome, Poly.Pizza. I'm not sure I love the name. Web development is super cool though. There's like a library for everything. Want to display 3D models? Here you go, just chuck this bad boy in. Want a clean RC UI that looks like Google's material design? Here you go, just fucking chuck it in. You wanna run the hit 90s video game Doom by id Software? Here you fucking go. So yeah, should be pretty straightforward. All we really need to do is have the server talk to a database and render some HTML for us. Did you, did you hear that? Oh, oh fuck, oh fuck is here. So after sorting all that out, I started downloading all the models from Polly. 
Thankfully, they have this nice API you can talk to, which will just give you a big list of every model on the site that you can download. Let's see, looks like you just got to agree to some more terms and conditions and, uh, huh. I, uh, wonder who that's for. Anyway, about a hundred lines of code later, I had duct taped together a program that would download all the models from the API. I was originally going to download everything else on Poly 2, like all the amazing tilt brush sketches, but uh, they ended up being pretty chonky and uh, not really usable in games, so they had to go. But don't worry, the legends over at uh, Archive Team have downloaded everything from Google Poly. It ended up being almost a terabyte, so yeah, fuck that. So I did some quick math, and I worked out it would take around 7 hours to download everything. Which, you know, pretty hefty, but not too bad. Anyway, 3 whole fucking days and 200 gigabytes later, I had uh, downloaded around 50,000 models. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not good at math. <laughs> of course, after all that, I actually didn't realize the models didn't include views or likes, which I wanted to use to rank them in search. So I busted out the old web scraper and actually went through all 50,000 models again to scrape the stats from the raw HTML. And then of course it didn't include the background color for the model or the actual initial rotation. So guess who had to go in and fucking edit thousands of fucking models to make sure their thumbnails didn't look like shit. Not to mention you can't just take that scraped data and slap it straight into my database. Oh no, it's gotta be converted first. I had to make a whole fucking sign up, login and upload functions for just like, you know, normal people to use. Then I had to actually fucking hack into my own website to force feed it the scraped models um, and then create fake user accounts for all the fucking people who uploaded those models. While I was making all this, I'd sometimes get asked, you know, Duke, anyone could do this. Why wouldn't they just do the same thing as you? And the reason is, um, to do all this, you'd have to be fucking nuts. Funny story though, I found this weird thing that's on the API that's not on the website anywhere. This guy. If the model has this set to true, it means the poly team has actually handpicked it. Which I thought meant that the model might be like super special or something, but actually all the models had it set to true. Which means for the past three years, some poor fuck at Google has been manually approving every single model uploaded to the website. I guess to make sure like no pregnant Goku furry porn like ends up on the front page. I wonder if that's the real reason they're shutting it down. Like that guy was just like, nah, fuck it, I'm done. But. That's a shit system. So I spent months hand training a machine learning model to accurately detect the quality of the models and delete all the shit ones. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, we don't do that here. Uh, I'm using the exact same system. So I built a whole fucking separate app to sort through all these fucking models. In the end, I think it's all worth it though because it makes searching a lot nicer and more importantly, it makes the hosting a lot cheaper. There was just a ton of garbage on there though. like. Random stock photos, like uh, whatever the fuck's going on here. Hey, uh, you, you know, I, I, I have a feeling this one might be copyrighted. To do all this, every night before bed, I went through the app for just a few minutes, ticking off the models that I thought would be worthy. But I also included some shit models just for the meme. I mean, come on, look at Pizza Steve. Could you delete Pizza Steve? I sure couldn't. Now you might have a few questions about this process, like how the fuck did you sort through 50,000 models? And uh, why do you hate yourself? But I made the job a lot easier by sorting everything by likes and then filtering through until I got to the models with no likes. So I only ended up sorting around 30% of the models, but after that point, uh, they're all pretty garbage. So I just stopped. Anyway, I kept working on a bunch of stuff and next thing I knew, uh, three months had gone by. But in those three months that flew by, some other life stuff happened. And that's that I got a job. Like a real ass, adult, nine to five, doing what I've always loved, which is game programming. It was at this tiny startup with super talented artists working in a kid's game that I was just super keen on. Anyway, total dream job. I moved out of my parents' place because I could finally afford it, moved in with some matey patates, and uh, life was pretty good. Anyway, uh, not even two weeks into the job, they sat me down and fucking fired me. No prior warnings or anything, not because my code was bad or because I didn't do what they asked, but uh, simply because I did not look enthused to be there. No, I really do wish this was a joke, like I wish there was a green screen Zach that would come in and say, you see, actually, it was because I took a huge shit on my boss's desk. But like literally that was the reason they gave me. Kinda, kinda fucking sus, am I right gamers? Among us sus? That's a gaming reference. Anyway, needless to say, I was uh, pretty fucking shattered. 
and uh, the whole experience just kind of put me off making games for a bit. So instead of sitting around like a depressed idiot all day, I decided to kind of channel all my energy just into this project, like 10 hours a day just reading books, writing code, that sort of thing. I also signed up for this thing where the government will pay you to take a crash course in business school and then uh, pay you for nine months to work on your own business. So that was pretty neat because I uh, can't pay my rent now, so very cool. So long story short, I couldn't just remake Polly anymore. I had to make it way fucking better, which actually wasn't that hard. Um, Polly kind of sucked ass. First off was a comment section, which uh, you might think is probably a terrible idea because um, you know, the internet. But I was really inspired from all the comments on uh, Freesound, which they're all just like, hey thanks, I used this HD fart sound effect in my short bill. And uh, you know, I just wanted to recreate that kind of community vibe. Will it end up like that? Pro probably not, but you know, it's it's worth a go. I also added search that actually works. Um, crazy, I know. Like uh, here's what you get when you search for dog on Google Poly. First result is a fucking cat. If only there was someone they could talk to about making like a search, like some sort of search, Google internet search. So I set out to make a better search engine than Google, is what I probably should have like titled this video, which uh, wasn't actually that hard. Um, the, the bar was set pretty low. Instead, my search only matches title and tags, whereas I think theirs matches description. And uh, it really helps that I'm manually editing my tags. Only problem is my search is fuzzy, which is great if you make a typo, but uh, kind of brings up some random stuff sometimes. Super scuffed, I know, but uh, still somehow better than Google. Um, so there's that. So after getting the site to a pretty usable state, I was like, wait, Service cost money? So I needed to figure out how to make some money off this bad boy while keeping everything free. To put it in terms that my fellow Australians would understand, I needed to make some dollary doos. The obvious answer to this was ads, but uh, for some reason Google just wasn't a fan of having their site uh, scraped and re-uploaded and monetized. Don't know why. I tried out some other ad networks, but uh, they were uh, questionable. So instead, I thought it'd be cool to handpick some stuff from the Unity Asset Store and then put it alongside search results and make money from the affiliate program. I did also think about using the old uh, Unity business model of charging $400 a year for dark mode, but uh, I ended up scrapping it. So instead of paywalling all the good stuff, I thought, what if I just make it all free and then take donations through my bootleg Patreon? This way, the site could keep running and everyone gets all the cool stuff. Like a win-win little win-win little do. And I really do think there's a lot of potential here beyond just a poly clone. Like what if there was a button that could just yeet a model straight into your game? What if all the models had community made prefabs and code on them that could just make the models work straight away? What if I just copy and pasted the whole fucking website and uh, replace models with mocap data? If only I knew someone with a mocap suit just collecting dust in their closet. I really think there's a lot more cool stuff that could be done here that no one's really doing because no one really cares about broke indie devs, but I care about you. I care so goddamn much. But I'd feel a bit weird just straight up profiting from other people's content. Servers and storage are pretty cheap, and as long as I have a roof over my head, that's all I really need to code this bad boy. What I really want to do though is get the site to a point where I can share the majority of revenue with artists and pay them to make more stuff. Which I'm hoping creates a feedback loop of drawing in more users, the users drawing more money, and then I can use the money to pay artists. So if you can make half decent models or have some old stuff lying around from old projects, uh, think about chucking them up on the site. And if they're total bangers, I might be able to pay you to make more in the future. I'll also feature anything uploaded in the next 48 hours uh, on the front page, because uh, I can just do that. To wrap it up though, something I kind of realized while building this whole crazy thing is that it'd be pretty much impossible if I had to do it from scratch. Like, the only reason any of this works is that people have made their code libraries free for anyone to use. And I thought, why isn't it the same for 3D models? Like, when people finish a game, all those models just sit around collecting dust on a hard drive somewhere, when they could be useful to so many devs. Like, think of all the crazy immersive worlds we could build if we had just one huge library of any model you could imagine in one cohesive style. That's really what I want to build. So if that sounds like something that would be useful to you, or you just want to help out funny YouTube duck man, please think about chucking us a few dollary dues. Or if you can't give money, sharing the site to your friends, resource lists, game jams, discords, that sort of thing also really helps out. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go lie down now. Goodbye. <laughs>